How's it going everybody? Neil Jernigan here. We're back in the swamp. It's a nice cold rainy day and we're here checking the uh, beaver camera trap that's going in this old horse pen that's behind me. So the, the trap's been up now for a couple of weeks and the first week um, you know we got some good activity. Uh, the, the trap was firing as the beavers were going into the pen and it was firing when they were coming back but it had a slow reaction time uh, so it was getting them after they had already crossed back into where the pond is and that's mostly my fault so what I did is I actually set the sensor up on this side of the fence when I really needed to put it on the opposite side so it would register them and start firing as they were crossing back under the fence so after moving the sensor to the opposite side of the fence got much better results. Uh, I came back in a few days later and I got the shot that I was after. Very pleased with the results. Um, that's what I had in mind uh, when I first discovered this trail uh, a few weeks back. And so I'm, I'm very excited to finally get the shot that I was after. We're back in here today to check it one more time. Uh, the goal uh, was to pull it today and move it to the beaver dam, um, but we've had a lot of rain over the last week and there's more in the forecast. So uh, instead of putting the camera uh, on the dam, we're going to leave it here for another week and uh, we're going to try for some more beavers or something coming underneath the, the fence here. So I don't want to put the camera in jeopardy because with as much water that we had, um, the dam has actually been breached uh, in several places and the water is going over the top of it. So I don't want to risk losing the camera. So we're going to wait um, for another week, let the water go down uh, and let this rain move out. And once that does, then we'll move the camera trap over to the dam and try to get some pictures of them there so let's see what we got I'm excited let's check it out you know I always come in here and check the trail camera first I always like to see what's come to the camera <laughs> Looks like we got a house cat, so that's interesting. Squirrels. Got another beaver. All right. So it looks like we got a lot of good activity.
All right, so look, based on what the trail camera got, it looks like we got a, some more beavers coming in and uh, also a couple of house cats. So I'm actually gonna pull the camera out of the housing because it's time to replace the battery. So unplug everything. All right. Let's see what we got. Got the cat. Just wished it was a bobcat, not a house cat. <laughs> Got a squirrel on the fence. Yep, another house cat, but it was during the day. The exposure was way off because I'm pretty much set for nighttime animals only. Got another beaver. Perfect. Looks like we got some good shots of the beavers as they're bringing the trees back underneath. This one actually had his face turned the opposite way, which is unfortunate. So we don't have a, a, a ton of photos, but I'm, I'm very happy with what we've gotten. Uh, I've gotten at least three beavers that are dragging the tree limbs back underneath the fence. Um, got everything, the lighting's perfect. We got good exposure on them. They're right where I focus. Everything's nice and sharp. I'm very happy with this. Very happy with this. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> All right, so I brought my laptop in here um, and fresh batteries. For the camera so we're going to head and unplug or excuse me change out the battery in this camera um, for those of you that are that are interested the battery on this t6 i've gotten about three weeks and 1800 images on one charge and honestly i could probably let this battery go another two or three days but i don't want to risk it um, putting it in there and then you know it dying and then I miss a, a really good photo opportunity so so yeah I, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with that now I have come in here and changed the batteries in the wireless transmitters for the flashes once in three weeks um, they're AAA batteries and I've changed the flashes once in three weeks as well I can't complain with that at all especially with, with the number of times that something's walking in front of this and firing the camera so good stuff um, so got the battery swapped out so now I'm gonna go get the laptop back up the images and uh, we'll check them out up there, see what they look like. So I've got three flashes for this setup. This is my main light right here. And I've got it set up to go off at 1 8th power at 24 millimeters. Uh, and it's manual flash power. So 24 because I want a very wide range for the flash to hit in case the beaver is close or far away from the camera. Uh, and then 1 8th power just seemed to be a, a good setting. Um, I don't like to go much brighter more, more powerful than that because it goes through batteries much quicker all right so the the flash that you see right over here that is the backlight that's more of a rim light that's to help fill in the shadows cast by this flash and the one that's behind you so that one's set at 28 millimeters at 1 16th power so again that's more of a fill light and a little bit of a rim light flash number one's by the camera this is flash number two and then the third flash is behind the camera so this second flash is at the same settings as the rim light flash so this is just to create a rim light on the back side of the beaver um, to help get some separation from the beaver and the background because all these beavers are coming out at night so if i were to just use one flash uh, everything else would be super dark behind it even the, the the back side of the beaver this gives a little bit of a rim light gives it that three-dimensional look also helps separate it from the background uh, and just makes an overall more pleasing photograph now as for as far as the camera settings are concerned i'm shooting all manual again here one hundredth of a second because I need to be within that one two hundred and fiftieth of sync speed. 
uh, for the flashes. So one one hundredth of a second. It's a manual powered 15 millimeter macro Lawa. So I'm shooting about f8 because I'm so close to the beaver. I want to make sure I get the entire animal in focus uh, since I don't know exactly what part of the trail they're going to come on. And then my ISO is set at 800. And so even with those settings, if the beaver were to come early in the day and there's some daylight or late in the day and there's still daylight, it should capture it. Now, if something were to cross right in the middle part of the day, which I'm not expecting, I, I may lose detail like I did with that house cat, but that's okay because what I'm after is strictly nocturnal animals for this particular setup. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in today's video. I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. Uh, if you have any questions about wildlife photography or camera traps, uh, leave them in a comment below. I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Next week's video, we're going to be still doing Camera Trap Tuesday. We're going to be working on something new. Just as soon as the rains move out, like I said, in this particular area and the water level goes down, we're going to set a trap up on the beaver dam, try to get some more unique images of a beaver crossing it. Hope you have a good holiday season coming up. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Can't forget the camera.